when we came to the US, we came like in October 6, which is like the day before the war started. And since then, everything just got like a whole different meaning for us. Something like this has never happened before, you know, being like Israeli and Palestinians during a time of war, we feel that our mission is so big right now and so important to show the world that through music we can connect and unite with people because it doesn't matter where you're from, it doesn't matter who you are, we can both like like the same sound and love the same music and the same band and just like enjoy from the same thing. This is our message to the world. We are all humans and love music. ever walk better in a, in a room like that. So I'm John, I'm your producer. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So my name is Nadal, and I'm from Hulon, which is a city next to Tel Aviv, and I play piano and singing. I'm Niv, um, I'm from Southern Israel. Um, I'm playing piano, guitar, and yeah. Cool. My name is Oad. I'm from Tel Aviv, Israel. I play guitar, drums, bass, and I'm a producer, and I'm singing. My name is Sadiq. I'm uh, singing. I'm trying to learn piano, and um, uh, Rod. I'm from Rod. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, my name is Neta. I'm from Tel Aviv. I do vocals piano, guitar, and just a little bit of violin. I'm a seal. I'm the rapper and dancer in the group. Um, I'm learning to play some instruments from the guys. Not yet fully, but mm. piano, guitar, maybe violin. Want to teach me some violin? One day, <laughs> one day. <laughs> Great. <laughs> And I feel like, you know, before we came to the US, all like the Israeli-Palestinian thing, it was never like an issue for us. Because like we came from like a place that, I mean, we like see each other as humans. It doesn't matter where you're from, what you are, you're always welcome. And first of all, we're all musicians. But when we came to the US, we came like in October 6, which is like the day before the war started. And since then, everything just got like a whole different meaning for us because you know, we've been through a lot and, you know, we have like our different opinions and, you know, Israel is and Palestinians. It's like time like this in the world, something like this has never happened before. You know, being like Israeli and Palestinians during a time of war between Israeli and Palestinians, it was a crazy experience for us. And we feel that our mission is so big right now and so important to show the world that through music, we can connect and unite with people because it doesn't matter where you're from, it doesn't matter who you are. We can both like like the same sound and love the same music and the same band and just like enjoy from the same thing. So this is our message to the world. We are all humans and love music. I think it's been like, you know, kind of being put together in this way where we're six people from different walks of life to make music, I think it's been, I wouldn't say it's been difficult. I'd, I'd say it's been interesting and a cool challenge. Uh, but I mean, it's, it's, it brings to the table something that people just don't see these days. I mean, not just different walks of life as being Israeli and Palestinian from being, different, from being from different places, but also like as people having different musical tastes, it kind of com comes together like this kind of Jackson Pollock painting of a song. And uh, I think we really bring something, you know, interesting to the table that you just don't see these days. I feel like I, we, it's really important for us to, for people to know that we really want everyone to just listen to our music. Everyone is welcome, no matter what you are, where you're from, what your opinions are. Um, music is one language that everyone speaks, and we're more privileged 
more than privilege should be like the face of something that unites people and not dividing in such a crazy time. So yeah, we truly are just a few musicians got together. We're in the situation and yeah. Because of this event that's happening in Israel, it can either bring us together or break us apart. It definitely affects our music. Um, you know, I mean, we had a song like that we recorded on October 9th with Stephen Kirk and Jenna Andrews back like in LA. And that day, I mean, probably like Niva Netta can tell you more about that. Yeah, I, so like um, four days after the war has begun, um, I got a message from my friend that um, one of my best friends um, died. And before I got this message, we went to the studio with Steven and, um, and Jenna. And we were thinking to record like something high beat and like very happy and everything. But we couldn't um, because of the situation. And we ended up um, recording some of our favorite songs. It calls um, Stop the World. You will, might see it as love song, but we, we brought it, a lot of m emotions to it. And I think all the situation brought, brought us like together more, more than ever. ever. Mm -hmm. And yes. yes. I'll just mm -hmm. add to this that a lot of our songs have double meanings into it. Like you'll think it's a love song, but it's like about missing home or about like a situation like this. And uh, it definitely changed the style of our music. We, the plan was to travel to the United States and record a pop album. And of course, the situation really affected about how our album will sound. Yeah. And yeah, of course, I agree. I like to add also, like we've been through this whole music before the war happened. And we've we've been in the studio together with Stephen Jenna, uh, Stephen Kirk and Jenna Andrews. And when the war started, it has certainly shifted our emotions into a more meaningful emotion that we want to not only show brotherhood and we're just coming here for the music as if, as if it's a quasar just coming up and gravitating everyone into it. But right now we also want to show that we accept whatever is each of us is, is feeling. You know, they lost friends and we accepted that and we just take took the, their emotions into our hearts. And me and the others also, when we were um, also grieving for the losses of the people in the war from both sides, we just had to talk about it and we had to yeah. bring it all together. And then we understood that emotions are connected. Emotions are the same. And we're coming here, when we put our emotions into the music, it creates something just worldwide yeah. and it's really cool. Yeah, so I mean, like, this whole project, uh, it was supposed to be at first, like, you know, kind of like a feel-good story of six people coming to LA and fulfilling their dreams, but when we get there and we finally make it to the studio, then it's taken a whole new context. Uh, the emotions were very, very, like, you know, very very convoluted very complicated and like because on the one hand you're you know fulfilling your dream and you're in LA and you're working with you know a who's who of like the best producers in the world but at the other hand you know you're opening your phone you're looking at all the stuff going back at home and you're worried about your family and your friends and you lose people and you it, it was just really difficult so we wanted to really really channel it into our music and uh you know we're not here to make peace anthems or be uh you know and say or say we're the solution to anything but i certainly think that we you know, can be a sort of like, sort of like a, a little, a little light. So, I mean, yeah, it's been a long journey and we've been learned mostly that conversation solve anything. Yes. And this is the most important thing that we learn from each other. And yeah, we had, we had issues, we had fight, we, we had everything. We experienced everything, we felt everything. But like the most important thing that now you can see us together, we could have break up, we could have done with this thing. But we chose to stay here even though 
we could have go back home. We got a call from the army and all the situation, but we chose to be here together and to show, our, show the world our message that it doesn't matter who you are, doesn't matter what we are, we're, doing, we're here to do music and to unite people through the music. It's the, it's the like our um, title, basically. And I have to add to that, that you know, we, we are all have like very different opinions, obviously. And I think what like at the beginning of the war, and we just like try like to convince each other what's right and what's wrong. And we are all like got to a point that we understood like there's no like right or wrong. And we just need to accept each other's different opinions. And it's fine to, you know, like agree to disagree about stuff because like there's so much to talk about, like beyond politics, be beyond like who you are, like I'm Palestinian, I'm Israeli. It's like, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. We are all humans. We love the same things we love. I mean, there's like so much beyond that. So I feel like when we understood that and like, accept each other, that's the point we are really felt like a family. Yeah. Our audience has to be ready to hear something <clears throat> really special because we are doing music that it's like truly different than the other pop bands. We do like hear music that, you know, putting on the table a lot of taste of the music. We are different. We're like everyone has a like a different background, music background. Like, for example, had like rock like band Kings of Leon. Uh, Neve likes Bob Marley, you know, <laughs> <laughs> he loves R&B, like Mariah Carey, you know, Seal, uh, Rap, Ed Sheeran. <laughs> I, I, like I don't know. Music. Like yeah. everyone with a different type of music and I came from, you know, Middle Eastern vibes. I like like Arab music and I'm learning a lot from that and we put in all together like a flavor to to this music that we're doing with like a spicy pop, you know? <laughs> it's pop world. It's, yeah. It's pop, spicy pop. So yeah. they might be ready, like they have to be ready for something they would never see. First of all, this is like the first Israeli Palestinian male pop group. Mm -hmm. And stay tuned for our music. The music is everything. It's gonna say it all, you yes. know? That's yeah. awesome. <laughs> I'll, I'll support, I'll be like, go, he's just like, he's like, he's like <laughs> okay, okay, I was, I was, they saw me and they told me and all that. I never saw him, he didn't know what he said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, that she was, she cries a lot. She's the best player. Thanks so much for watching. Did you like that video? You can check out more over here and don't forget to subscribe to iHeart right here. And if you're already a longtime fan, make sure you ring the bell down below so you don't miss a single video. See you next time.